Hello class, so we're talking about shifts in verb tense, okay? So verbs tell readers that something is happening. Verb tenses can show whether an event takes place in the past, in the present, or in the future. So when you write, choose the tense that shows clearly the time of the action. Verb tenses that shift can confuse readers. So change tense only if you want to show a change of time or change in time. So here's one that is done incorrectly. We went to the movies last Saturday. The movie is a comedy and was very funny. We had eaten popcorn during the movie, but we often stop so we will hear every word. Sounds weird, doesn't it? Everything doesn't flow nice and smoothly. Let's listen to it correctly. We went to the movies last Saturday. The movie was a comedy and was very funny. We ate popcorn during the movie, but we often stopped so we could hear every word. Do you hear how that flows and it sounds better because all the verb tenses, verb tenses are in the same time frame, all right? Which was past tense. All right, let's do our guided practice. So I'm gonna read the passage, and it should be written in the past tense, okay? We're gonna cross out each verb that should be changed to make the tenses consistent. Then we're gonna write the correct verb above each word, each verb that we cross out, okay? So we need to look for clues that tell when events happen. Do they occur in the past, present, or future? Then look at each verb and ask, what tense is the verb? Does it match the tense of the other verbs? All right? So let's go ahead and work on our, for, on our example. Jake went to the movies with Mario last week. Well, remember, this happened in the past. It's already happened. Went is the password. Very good. They see the film Frontiers of Space. Hmm. They saw the film Frontiers of Space. Tickets for the show that night were expensive, but Mario has a coupon. Has isn't past. Had. He finds the coupon online the day before. He found the coupon online the day before. Mario will buy the tickets. Oh, this happened not going to happen. It already happened. So Mario bought the tickets. Then he looked for seats while Jake purchases the snacks. Well, Jake purchased the snacks. It's past tense. Jake gets popcorn for himself and a pretzel for Mario. It would be Jake got popcorn for himself and a pretzel for Mario. They will have sat in the front row, watch the movie, and enjoy themselves. Well, we have a couple here. They had sat in the front row, watched the movie, and enjoyed themselves. So it's important that we make sure all of our verbs are in the same tense unless we are showing a different change in time. Well, all of this happened in the past. It happened last week. So we need to make sure all of our verbs happened last week. All right? So let me know if you have any questions. Hope this helped.